peace and beautiful blessings welcome to my channel i'm javana the spiritual love healer today i will be sharing a message with you for the month of march the spiritual love forecast i am using the alley man's tarot which is going to be very interesting so don't believe i have used this in a reading um definitely not a collective reading so we're gonna see and i think the cards are all mixed up all kinds of ways so we're just going to see what comes out. I should have prepared myself a little bit better, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. So first, I've already, like I said, my prayers, I've cleared space, done all the things. But let me shift a few things so that I feel okay. This feels better. I'm going to place the deck here. I was sitting doing my planning for the day, and then I am in a tarot course with Courtney, the creator of the Destaonyx Tarot. It is called the um, Tarot Through the Spiral, and it is just profound knowledge. I'm loving the course. I'm loving the things that it's bringing into my awareness, the way that it is shifting me and how I read. So let's just get into it and see what messages come up for the collective. Oh, this deck is so big. I can barely pick it up with one hand. All right. So let's all just sit together, take three collective deep breaths to clear, to ground, to be present in the moment. and to be open to receive. All right, so I'm using the Energy Oracle cards. One of my favorite Oracle decks, I wanted to use my African Goddess Rising decks, but they are both working at the moment, which, and I was thinking about getting <laughs> some extra copies because I'm always using those in my own personal reading so that I can have a copy to do other things with, but I need to chill on buying decks. So, into his, let's see what cards want to come out. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So two cards that first came out was the thinking man and um, uh, what was it? It was a thinking man and there was something else that I saw. And what came to mind is that there's someone who is thinking about coming towards you. And then um, I started shuffling. Those cards kind of popped out, but I just kept shuffling it in. Something told me to mention them. So we have Archangel Raphael, one of my favorite archangels. I work with his energy quite often. And he represents the fourth energy center, your heart chakra. And then we have Storm Warning, which is very, very interesting. And so when I'm thinking about the thinking man, and the storm warning, it might not be something bad that's happening here, um, or it could actually be someone from your past, and that's why the storm warning is here. So that thinking man, it, okay. Let me shuffle one more time and see what else comes up. Yeah, so with the storm warning, because fifth angel, um, excuse me, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel came up. That is your throat chakra. So I feel like the thinking man is someone who is, and it was the sun card. Okay, that was the other card that came up. I need to pull those cards out because they belong here. Let me see. 
sun and oh and they were still together in the deck <laughs> okay so these are the first two cards that i saw i saw the thinking man and the sun and so there's so <sighs> okay there's a lot of energy and messages and i'm trying to gather it all together so with the thinking man and the sun together there's someone who wants to take action towards you i feel like there's someone who is manifesting you they're really focused on you so when they have a clear quartz is a crystal of amplification so this person could be trying to communicate with you in some way and with the sun the sun is active energy, you know, it lights up the day. And so when I see the sun, I think about action, things that are being done. Um, and so this person might, you might figure out who they are. They may show up. You may get a message from them. There is going to be some light shed on this person who is thinking about you or the person who is on your mind. Because the storm warning is here, I'm thinking that this is possibly someone from your past, someone that maybe caused some sort of turmoil or heartache. They disrupted your life in some way. On the alternative, this could have been a good disruption, but with the way the cards are looking, I'm feeling that it is not. But this person wants to speak to you. They want to express their self in some way. They may have something to offer you, or it could be that you left this person because of the things that they did, and they want to come back and speak to you because they're seeing you walking into this energy. The door to value, where you are doing what I like to call living abundantly ever after. So for some of you, you could possibly be getting a message from this person. Um, or maybe they're just popping up into your mind or things like that. Or you might feel compelled to, to reach out or to speak to them. It almost feels like someone is kind of playing on your heartstrings. This is really interesting because the last reading I did was not like this. It was a little, a little more in-depth. So let me focus these cards around a little bit what are the chakra energy saying here I need more space hold on I always do this I sit down and I'm just like let's read and I don't always prepare my space in the most aligned of ways here we go Okay, this is better for me. So presently we have the... Yeah, I feel like you're healing from something with this, the storm warning and the fourth um, chakra here. I don't even know which way is up the front or backs of some of these cards in the alley man deck. I really like the mish mash deck energy and i just recently acquired the messenger oracle and the speaker oracle and those decks actually work really well in a pair together i'm gonna have to cut this deck because shuffling is not shuffling the way i need it to shuffle here we go so i'm gonna shuffle these And then we're going to shuffle these. I don't want to shuffle these. And we're going to put them all together and I'll start to pull. What is going on with, okay, that one wanted to come out. Okay, so the card that this, that flipped was this. See what it says, stay for a good time, not a long time. So this person that this, this feels like someone from your past who wants to get back into your energy because you have something that they want. It doesn't feel like they're coming back in with a genuine energy. Um, it just seems like there's 
something okay all these cards are falling what is going on hold on yeah see there's something that they want and they're asking you to pause with the four of swords this is a place of rest this is a place of making sure that you are thinking things through because if this person does come back into your life they're coming with a lot of chaotic energy attached to them um and there might still be something within you that maybe still longs for this person so there may be a, a little bit of heart healing needed around this relationship around this connection with that person with archangel Raphael here Who is the thinking man and why is the sun here for March 2024 for the collective? Ten of eyes. Yeah, this person is watching you. They are probably in your energy field somehow. And they want to, they want to. And then we have the the storyteller. So this is not a, an honest person. This is someone who is watching you. They have probably told a lot of lies or if they do come into your awareness, into your field again with the um, fifth chakra, they are not gonna be speaking aligned things. They're going to come with manipulation. And that is, that's what I'm getting here. So it's someone that is, is watching you. They have something to say to you but it's not anything beneficial. They just want to gain access back to you. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, it's almost like they're drawn to your light. So this is a person that you do something for them. You might make them feel good or feel at peace. Maybe this storm warning, that's their energy. They don't know how to soothe themselves, how to navigate their own issues or traumas or whatever they have going on. So your light is healing to them. Your essence is healing to them. And that is, that's what they want access to again. Give me more information on Archangel Gabriel, the fifth chakra and door to value. I also feel with this this candle that this is also telling you to protect your energy, to protect your light, because I feel like this person, like I said, they they probably want to come back in and sweet talk you. They want to apologize and tell you that they've changed or they made a mistake. And ooh, this card. And that's the energy that they're in. So when I'm looking at this card, and I don't know if I can show this or not, but look at the back of it. That is just so bright. Like the colors just got me. I don't know what deck this is from, but when I look at this, this is someone who has no boundaries. This is someone who very much likes to, um, like all these cups here are empty and this everything is just pouring out and pouring out and pouring out. So it's almost like they just numb themselves. They are not really in tune with their emotions. They're overdoing something, maybe drinking, maybe partying or just feel good activities without really sourcing the heart of what's causing this internal turmoil that they're having. So it's like they need to fill themselves up and they cannot fill themselves up. They need someone else to help them do that. And I think that might be why you are so valuable to them. Door to value doesn't have to mean that it's money value. It could be time. It could be energy. It could be so many different things. So whatever is valuable to you, then it's like they want to get back in your good graces. But they don't seem like they're the best of person with everything that's coming out here. Yeah, and then we have the Knight of Cups. So they want to come to you like this, but this is really the energy that they are in. So just be mindful of that because there's something about them that they, 
it feels like they want an excess of your energy, but they do not have anything to give you. And this just does not seem like a good person. Yes, yeah, so we have the comforter. So there's something about you that is very comforting. This feels also like very much Empress energy, which resonates with door to value and also Archangel Raphael just being very healing in the sun, the sun card as well. It's like this bright energy that is warm. It is comforting and it draws people to you that maybe don't know how to comfort themselves. Yeah, so be mindful of that particular energy. So I'm going to hit reset and we're going to pull some more cards because this one, it seemed very clear. There's someone from the past who wants to come towards you with an offer that is not necessarily genuine. They just want to get back in your good graces. And I'm going to get a different deck. It was kind of fun reading with this deck. The different cards together. Yeah. They're, they're um, from many different decks that different creators contributed and very fun. And I like the box. It's like a match book. I don't know if I did a review on this one. Okay, give me a second. I want to pull another deck to read with. Oh, I just, so this is, um, Hold on. No, that's in, in April. I was going to say, because Mercury retrograde is coming up, and I don't know why this just popped up, but um, the month of April, I believe, April 1st, it goes retrograde through the 25th. And so, you know, the shadow period is about three weeks prior. So... Yeah, that would be nearing the beginning of March. So be mindful that with the Mercury mercurial energy being retrograde, you may start to, you know, review past relationships or be like, oh, I wonder, la, 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 la. People from your past may begin to pop up. So I feel like this was just a reminder and warning to stay in alignment um, during that time, making sure that you are patient. <laughs> this card just flew out as well as, where'd he go? Man holding heart. So you want to be patient for someone who is coming towards you with their heart, not from their ego or their mind where they're not considering their emotions or their feelings or the energy that they're bringing towards you or how they are either adding or subtracting to your life. So it feels like, ugh, like right on the other side of that individual, there is actually something good and beneficial waiting. So be patient, be mindful and aware. glad to have all my decks back. What is going on? It has been a while since I've had all of my cards together. So I'm very grateful and excited that I get to read in this way. And the way that my, yeah, just all the things. All right, so March 20, 24 for the collective. So we're going to pull a new spread. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. 
So the shadow energy, it's anxiety, which is very interesting because that kind of feeds into the cards that I pulled previously. So what came out is thinking woman, strategy, and happy family. So this is very interesting, okay? Um, so when I'm thinking about the thinking woman, worrying, right, about, you know, having that relationship that she wants for herself, the, why are all the cards just jumping today? I feel that if you are desiring a partnership, a relationship of some sort, um, and even if you're not really looking for a relationship, if there's something that you would like to manifest, you're being asked to get clear on it. A lot of times when we want something, we can just sit and worry and obsess about it and just think about it or think that we can't do it, think it's too hard, it's not possible. And Spirit is asking you to shift your thoughts because when you, one, connect with Spirit, so when we're thinking about or with the thinking woman, you know what it is that you want, right? You want to be aware of your emotions, your feelings about it. But then you also need to ground it. And this is something I think is very interesting that the this is what's coming up because I can relate to this a lot. So quick example, I have been... Thing, there are things that I want to do and things that I want to teach. And I know what it is in my mind up here. I feel it in my heart. I know what I'm here to do and I want to do those things. But sometimes it stays in here and I'm just thinking about it and I'm thinking about it, but I don't actually ground it into reality with a actual strategy. So going from that, that soul longing to do, be, or have, and then translating those thoughts, those ideas. And like here, she's she's got things written down. She's got, <laughs> this is like all the journals and notebooks, so like brain dumping, getting the ideas out on paper and then putting, putting them in a plan, a flow, a process so that you can actually complete them to see the, the manifestation or the end result. So tying this into relationships, if you have been single for a while or you wanna start dating or you wanna see a change in your relationship, there's almost like this need to figure out, okay, well, what is it that I need to do? The thinking woman, what do I need to learn? Is there you know, some notes that I need to take? Can I write down everything that is going on in my heart and in my mind so that I can create space for clarity? And then again, we've got strategy. So this might be journaling. Maybe there's some things that you need to journal about. Maybe you need to make a to-do list. Maybe you need to partner with a coach, a healer, or someone who can help you, um, you know, with accountability and to taking action. And I'm getting some <laughs> buzzing vibrations in my head. <laughs> So it's almost like if you are feeling like this, right? If you're overwhelmed by something, if you are stressed about a past relationship with that storm energy and, you know, worry that someone's going to come back in and manipulate you or you're going to fall for the okie doke again, I feel like spirit and right under that is door to spirit. And then the storm warning again is on the bottom with Archangel Gabriel. So it's like this energy, I think, Okay, hold on. Whew. You're worried about something that spirit is protecting you from, right? You're here, there's door to spirit, and then there's this energy. You're being protected from this storm, but it's almost like because you're thinking about it or speaking about it, you may be bringing it into your awareness or your reality. So when I'm thinking of it like that, I feel that spirit is saying, get some help, get some assistance that can help move you through this energy. And so now when I'm thinking or looking at the thinking woman, this could be 
a counselor, this could be a coach, a healer, someone who can help you step outside of that identity or that story and create a plan or a strategy to help you move into a state of bliss and joy within yourself. So that's one thing that I'm seeing come up. Yeah, I feel like here we've got the seven of wands and again, I feel like there's this very much a protective energy here with the seven of wands, the queen of swords and the five of swords. And so sometimes, especially right, if you've been hurt in a past relationship, we can be so guarded that we don't allow anything or anyone else in. And so I feel like Spirit is asking you to put your swords down because there's something that they would like for you to receive with the Ace of Cups and the Happy Family. But it's like you are always on guard in your words and in your actions. Like you're not you're not letting through the gate that which might also serve you because you're so much on guard protecting yourself from what you've experienced in the past and that's okay i get it as a someone who was always you know a people pleaser always wanting to help other people to my own detriment it I, I I had to go through a period of being very vigilant and then I was able to relax that vigilance once I got back to a state of trust in myself, knowing which battles to fight, knowing which person or situation to turn away and which to allow in. And so there comes with that really, again, the door to spirit, allowing spirit to guide you, using your discernment, using your intuition to know who and what is in alignment for you so that you can be open to receive that which the divine, what spirit wants you to receive, right? You're abundantly ever after. And then knowing when to empty out the cup or just to not even take the cup or the thing that's this person, the situation that's being offered. So I feel like this is more about you learning to trust yourself. So, right, this can represent you as well as, you know, your inner child being healed, different versions of yourself being healed. This can absolutely um, represent a relationship or a family situation. But I more so feel that this is really a journey of healing. And it's something in which you you know, need to be supported in, whether that support is that with the help of someone like myself, whether it's books, whether it is, you know, a podcast, there's something that you need to add into your life with the thinking woman and strategy that's going to help you move through the past energies that has you a little worried. And with Door to Spirit being here, I also feel this is something where your spiritual practices, whether, you know, that's prayer, meditation, you know, whatever your particular beliefs are to fortify those things, because that's helping to protect you from whatever this is. And it's also important too, because I'm hearing the st storms will pass, just like in this card, we see the clouds are starting to break up and go away. I feel like this storm has moved on. I feel like you've risen above it above it but you're still it's still in the back of your mind like i can't believe this happened like i cannot believe that this thing came through and just knocked everything over and you know you're picking up the pieces and i feel like for some of you there you just need a little bit of support in picking up the pieces so that you don't continue to stay in that energy or to relive that energy because you've anchored into it and now you're 
operating out of that frequency. I hope that makes sense. Um, are there any other messages? Are there any other messages? Is there any other messages? This card. Yep, Five of Cups. You're still grieving it. You're still grieving it. Um, but what you released, what you, you know, had to lose, which I know it's it's very hard, so I'm not saying this um, without compassion. But if you've been standing here for a while looking at these cups, maybe the past three months, Spirit wants you, or the past three years for some of us, or how, however long you've been looking at what was lost, you're being asked to turn around and see what stands and to build from there. So yeah, so with the 10 of wands, it's not something that you're not able to do. It is going to be work, but spirit is there with you and they're asking you to connect with um, someone, a teacher, an organization, a group, whether it's uh, group therapy, whether it is um, a, a therapist, a counselor, spiritual practitioner, teach. There's you're being asked not to do it alone, to get help, to have some sort of structure or teaching that is guiding you through whatever it is that you are experiencing. Um, also with the Hierophant, this card to me is also... A reminder too to listen to your inner wisdom, to your beliefs and the practices that are right and true for you. And that might be different from what your your family or your community or whoever is in your space to what they think, feel, and believe. But part of your your healing and journey is going to be following a path that is right for you. Does this feel complete? It's almost like whatever this was that came into your life, this person, this storm, this, it happened in order for you to, I don't want to say to learn something, but it happened. I, I feel like this is kickstarting a journey for you to grow, to evolve, um, to, to reclaim yourself in some way, to do some healing work that, that needs to, to take place. Okay, this feels complete. So that is the March spiritual love forecast. Be mindful of people from your past coming back in through whichever channels, whether it's phone calls, in person, social media, popping up on your mind, out of nowhere. Um, if this, if they were not a good person then, from what I'm seeing in the cards, and of course this is a collective reading, they don't seem to have changed. It seems like they are still on that same mess and they are coming back into your life with the same chaotic energy that was experienced with them before. Use this as an opportunity to heal. So pay attention to the things that are coming up in your awareness, to the things that you are feeling, to what is making you maybe um, rehash things from the past or feel, um, you know, alone, sad, worried, overthinking, anxious. Pay attention to those things. Uh, use journaling. Write those things down because those are going to be points of healing for you to explore whether you do that um, with the help of a professional which for some of you I do feel and see that it is recommended and of course I do offer you know healing and coaching services to help guide others as well whether you work with whoever you work with if you need to work with somebody me or not please do it get the support that you need because that's why it's there I had the unfortunate blessing of not having any support when I needed it most after dealing with major, major traumatic issues, 
um, child custody stuff going on with domestic violence stuff. Like my every area of my life was breaking apart and I did not have any help. And because I did not have any help, it took me a long time to recover. And I call that an unfortunate blessing because it's what led me back to my path. And it taught me so much. It awakened me to my own power and it allowed me to, to truly heal myself. So I love you. I see you. I support you. And I am deeply grateful for you tuning in to the Spiritual Love Forecast for March 2024. Again, this is a collective reading. So if it does not resonate, then that's okay. It just means it is not for you. I also have um, offerings available. If you would like to work with me, coaching, energy healing, readings, courses, and more, visit my website, javonatisdale.com. I look forward to supporting you and I'll see you soon. Peace.